Hi, I'm Debbie. And I'm Jan. And this is the Villages 365. And today we're going to do your questions asked August edition. Yes. So um, this was actually off of the Marches questions video. Questions on questions. Questions on questions. Shauna Kasanovic asked, in which video did you talk about the pros and cons of living in the different areas of the villages? And I believe that video, and I can put the link in here, but I believe that video was entitled um, Where to Buy in the Villages, Florida. So I will put that link in there again for you. But we basically talked about the different areas of the villages and things to think about, like the older section. Maybe you'll have to do a little work or maybe not, but then also maybe you won't have as high of a bond or and the different amenities in different areas, et cetera, et cetera. So anyway, um, that was the video that we did that in. So thank you. And same uh, one, March questions. George Vicari, they are getting ready to close on new construction in Newell. I don't know where that is, but I know it's way down, down south. south. Yeah. Congratulations. That's that's one of the newest the, areas. The village's realtor told us that upon arrival, they have seven days to conduct a walkthrough with the builder representative, and then seven days after the walkthrough to submit an official punch list of fixed items. Can you recommend a trustworthy and thorough home inspector who may accompany us? And we contacted Kim because that came off of her video and she recommended House Masters, Steve Lightcap, um, which is probably who she uses all the time. Mm -hmm. And his email is ultimateinspections at yahoo.com. So contact him or if you found one in the meantime, I think oh, George is already closed. Well, he's already closed now because that was from the March question. So she he's already, already closed. Yeah, you've already done that. So anyone else going through this, yes. then you can use um, George's question. And congratulations, George. Welcome to the Villages. Um, Stephen Kiley asked on the same video, curious if you still have to work a full-time job while living in the Villages. Do you think your living the dream will be the same as we hear on all the YouTube videos we watch? <clears throat> well, as far as if you need to work a full-time job or not, I guess that, that that's such a large question because it depends on how you want to live. I mean, if you have a hundred no, million dollars in the savings account, yeah. maybe not, you know, so it, I mean, everybody's circumstance is different. Do you have a mortgage? Did you pay cash for your home? Um, what type of activities? If we golf, I mean, if my husband and I golf at the championship courses um, twice a, twice a week, it runs us almost $800 a month. So do I need a job to pay for that? Maybe. Do I, or do I cut it down? Do I do, you know, there's, there's, there's ways the around free golf courses. Yes. This can be a very affordable place yep. to live for sure. But it also depends. Everybody's got different means um, with regard to that. As far as, do you think you're living the dream will be the same as we hear on all the YouTube videos? Um, Jan and I just try to present, we've, we've both been here for a long time. Um, we try to present um, our views of things, and since we have been here a little bit longer, we've seen a little bit more, uh, and a lot of the change, obviously, because um, we've both been coming down since the 90s right. um, to visit people, and then we both bought in the 2000s, so um, we've been around. I would say that you can definitely live your dream here. Um, could you live your dream anywhere? I'm I'm that type of person, so I I would yeah. be happy for me when my husband is in happy. Um, but um, it is a very great place. Anytime Leo and I talked about, well, you know, where else where else could we go? And then we start talking about, it and then we're like, well, but then you know. For me, is there a tennis club nearby? Well, are there any golf courses? Well, how much are those golf courses? Are they private? Are they public? How much do they cost? You know, and when you start to me, every time we've talked about it, when we start adding things up, we still come back to the villages. So um, there is no place like it. Everything no, is very convenient. It's very, it's very different. Very and close, very easy. Um, and I think that's why also a lot of older people, even though some, you know, sometimes people's families are like, come back up north, mom, you know, you're by yourself, come back up north and be with us now. And, uh, you know, like I have neighbors and stuff and they've said, we don't want to go where our kids are. We want to stay here because I can go five minutes in my golf cart to get to the grocery store. By then I got to get in a car and I got to drive 20 minutes in the snow or whatever. Yeah, I was going to so, say, and it doesn't snow. Yeah. So, I mean, it, you know, cool. it depends on what your dreams are, right. I'm certain. Right. But yes, do I think it's a great place to live? Yes. Do I think sometimes 
people don't want to share some of the downsides of things. Yes, I think that everybody wants to pretend it's fluffy and it's not 100% fluffy all no. the time. And so no, no place is. No place is. No, exactly. no place is perfect. Um, maybe somewhere over the rainbow, but there's lots of free things to do. You can you can live here as expensively or as cheap as you want. Mm -hmm. um, and you and I know when we bought a long time ago, housing was a lot less and affordable. things are going up just just like anywhere else yeah. where you're going to move it's going to be it's going to be more expensive and house prices right now are 184 to 1.4 yeah so um well and yeah. it's interesting because we were actually looking at um some uh real estate in a town nearby in ocala and we were just curious there's a builder called dr horton which i'm sure everybody knows and um it was funny because the video was done three years ago and those same models now are one hundred and ten thousand dollars, one hundred and twenty thousand dollars more. So everything has gone up. It's not just the villages. Mm -hmm. It's I mean, it, it's everywhere. So yep. it, just to kind of give you a range of what you know, it was just an interesting comparison. So. But again, as cheap as you want, there's a lot of free stuff. You don't have yeah. to pay for your groceries. You pay your amenities. You pay your gas for your golf cart or plug it in or whatever. You can live you can. cheap once you get down here. And you can do a lot of things because yes. there's a lot of you free can keep stuff. Busy. Yeah. So and meet a lot of great people. Yes. All right. Is it my turn? It is your turn. KC on the um, March questions again. Is Amtrak near the airport so I can take an Uber to the airport from Amtrak? Um, there's three stations that are close to the airport. And one of them is the Orlando Amtrak station. And it's near downtown Orlando. That's 23 minutes. Um, there's also Winter Park. They have a uh, station there. That's 36 minutes. And Kissimmee. 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 There, there, Kissimmee. There's a lot of double stuff in here. Two S's, two M's. Yeah, don't start threes, rumors now. Eyes. You know the swingers thing will yeah. come up. Don't tell me to kiss That's you. That's 23 minutes. So, yes, you can, you can get to the airport um, by an Uber. And Frank Keel on the same question or the same video asked, do you have to get permission to place a garden in your backyard? Yes, you do. So, um, and a lot of people get upset about that. They feel like, why are they in my business? If I want to do something in my yard, I should be able to do it. Some of it does have to do with drainage. Um, and people re, we don't have, these houses are close together. There is drainage to get things out to the sewer system. Right. So you need to ask, the CCNRs basically say anytime you're going to do anything in your landscaping, you're supposed to ask. Now, that's not to say that people aren't pulling out bushes and replanting bushes, et cetera, et cetera. But um, to put a garden in your backyard, I would say I would ask. I, I, I don't think that I, I do know that DeSantis passed something about um, the banning local governments from enacting ordinances, preventing homeowners from planting gardens. Really? But I think that people here put them in the boxes yeah. uh, above ground boxes and remember when he passed that we saw more of those in the backyards of people for tomatoes yeah. and stuff like that but um yeah he passed that on a couple years ago and i we don't see very many and and it's you don't really have the room we don't have a lot of room but you yeah. do see a few people that do the boxes because they want their tomatoes it's well, right behind jan i've got my basil and my uh, yeah i mean and my cilantro in here is way in here. different than if you're in iowa and planting a garden i yeah. mean it's just it's just not and there's work. a community garden off of rolling acres yes. actually yes. that i don't know how you get involved in that but i'm sure somebody does so yep. um, you could do that as well yeah and you just you don't i don't think i've ever seen a in-ground garden anywhere but i have seen some of the boxes where and, and a lot of those boxes have now turned to weeds <laughs> way. Yeah, there's some of those on Lopez, like on number two, um, Aaron or not Ashley. Um, so yeah, that was a thing. Once he passed that, everybody's like, "Oh, I'm going to get a little box up above ground and put my and yeah." So it's a little harder here. Okay, next is the new village villages may want to consider. And Laura Roz, are you both retired? Do you find neighbors in the north as friendly as down south? Um, we are retired. My husband just retired three years ago. Um, and I find almost all people are friendly. I mean, any city you go to, you're going to have wonderful people. Then you're going to have that one person that's not as nice as the others. And, you know, we've been here 18 years and I've met many, many, many nice people. 
and interest, interesting people, and we've talked about this before. And I think a, some people blame New Yorkers for bad behavior, but I think it's like a stigma. Um, it's just like the villages have certain things that people talk about. But um, there are a lot of nice people, and I, I don't, I, you know. And you're, you guys do, they do a ton of stuff with their neighbors. Now, I will say, Leo and I don't. We don't, um, when we first moved here, full-time, everybody, they did a block party every month, and that got to be, that's too much for us, but this is just, this is our personal preference. So it's not that it wasn't available. We opted out of it. You do a lot of stuff with your neighborhood. There's a neighborhood very close to here, and they are very involved. They do things three, four times a week together. Um, so most of the neighborhoods do have some sort of group, like the, you know, whatever, if it's right. whatever, Amelia is the neighborhood, then they, they have an Amelia group and they will give you access. And usually somebody in the neighborhood, whoever runs it, reaches out and says, Hey, you know, um, if you're interested in getting together with us or whatever and all that. And so they, they are pretty good about letting you know, the realtors also, if you're looking in an area may be able to give you some information about that. I don't know how much they know about it or not, but, um, but I think you're like, we used to be when we were your age, when we moved here, everybody was a lot older in our neighborhood and we didn't do anything with them. And well, you're kind of the youngest one here, aren't that, you? That's some of it, yeah. but mostly we're antisocial. I don't want to say we're antisocial because we're not really. No. But we just Fair we not. we get we're involved in the activities we're involved in. My husband doesn't play games. My husband my husband doesn't play cards. Even if we were in your neighborhood, you guys do a lot of that yeah. stuff. We would not Card be night, hanging yeah. out and we love Jan and Mark. It's not a personal thing. Yeah. It's that it's your own that's thing. not what my yeah. husband likes to do, right. so we don't do it. That's all. So And you know. And we don't have to. Right. Right. But yes, I think that people are very friendly. And we're very friendly with our neighbors. We just don't do a lot of activities with them like right. some of the um, neighborhoods do. We help them. We are very friendly. They know when we're gone. We know when they're gone. We check each other's homes. We, you know, our neighbor across the street brings packages in if we happen to get yeah. something delivered. So, I mean, ever very friendly. We we do hang out. We just don't do the neighborhood Everything activities. together. Yes. Yeah. And some of the neighborhoods do. Yes, more of that than others. So, um, KM, um, tips on repelling snakes in your yard. Also, how common is it to run across one? Okay. And so I know, um, KM, and I'm not sure if you're a female or male, but it was funny because your response I laughed at because you did kind of think that was funny, my response. But I'm going to say, uh, when we moved here, I was like, everything is scaly. I'm from the Midwest where everything is furry. Like we have furry animals. We have squirrels and bunnies and even if you have mice or whatever, everything is furry. Down here, everything is scaly. There are spiders and um, and I don't like lizards spiders and, snakes. and gators and yeah, yeah. all of that. So reptilish, exactly. More red <laughs> snakes. But I will tell you, the only snakes that we have run across, and I, so I went reaching under a bush when we first moved here to weed, and had no idea, and whoosh, and they're called black racers. They're but good they're, snakes. They're good snakes. They're equivalent to garter snakes in mm -hmm. in the Midwest. And so um scared me. I'll give you that. But I jumped and then was like, okay, note to self, gloves and pay attention. So we do see them. I would say that in our yard, we probably see them once every couple months, maybe. We do. Yeah. Um, they like to sun themselves on the sidewalks um, at the tennis facility. I have come across them and I've even come across the big long skins that they have shed. I hope they're um, using suntan lotion. I don't think they are. That's why, that's why they shed their skin. Um, good. <laughs> but, but anyway, um, but my comment was they are good. They're good for the environment. They, they help with the geckos. They help with mice. They help keep the rest of nature in check. So right. um, just if you walk near them, trust me, they're probably more afraid of you than you are of them. So just Shuffle a little bit, let them scoot. They're yeah. very fast. So yes. they'll get out of your hair in no time. Considering so. they don't have legs. Yes. They're very they, fast. They're very but fast. I did look it up. You can look on info at the villages snakes.com. There's only like three different snakes. And I do know that our neighbor loved landscaping and her whole house was around there covered with 
bushes and plants and stuff. We saw a lot of snakes back then. They liked that stuff. They really, you know, like yeah. in, under those bushes. And when she moved, then the other people tore out a lot of them. And we, we see less snakes. We, we did have one in our garage. And I wouldn't open the garage, the door into our house until I, it, it got vacated. Yeah. 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 But, yeah, they're harmless. No big deal. Um, Cynthia Amatrono? Wanted to know if um, we were friends before moving to TV or we met here. We actually met um, golfing one day. Uh, we scabbed onto their tea time. We got on the unused and saw there was a male and a female, so we signed up. And we rolled up there probably late because Mark makes us late for everything. And um, after we got done golfing, we stopped for a drink. And then exchange numbers. And then I think you called us a couple weeks later and said, you want to golf again? We said yes. And there it is. Yep. So, so. we vacation together. We do this together. We've done a lot of stuff together. Um, yeah, we're we're really good friends. Yep. And yep. I'm not their grandparents. Yeah, that, that was Leo's favorite stories. He tells everybody they're our grandparents. Um, everybody loves Leo. Pamela Otero asked, is there a metal detecting club at the Villages? Is there? Yes. I didn't find one. See, and I think when I answered this, I said, I, I looked through all yep. the clubs. I, okay, so you it's, found one. it's called the Villages Metal Detecting. And That's its location is Hibiscus Rec. And the web, the the, uh, the email, if you want to, uh, it's Mr. Miller, because it's lamiller105 at gmail.com. And you can put that on there. But I had to, I had to search for it. I looked and looked. Because there was an article anything. in the paper and they called it, um, the, uh, well, they called it something different and it was like three or four years ago and I'm like, well, and then I couldn't find it on the whole list. Yeah. That's what I was looking but at. Because it's clear down there as the village's metal detecting. Who knew? I was wrong. Not my, the first um, time. Yeah. Won't be the last. My brother-in-law does that and he's, he's, he really likes it. So <laughs> yeah. Give him a call if you're coming down. Uh, Mr. McX-Ray. Mm -hmm. um, are there organized golf leagues that you can join? Also during our visit, are there any must, uh, any must things that we should do or see in regards to villages? So the, there's a villages golf club, just like the um, metal detecting club that meets at Lake Miona rec center. Also the championship clubs have lady days on Wednesdays and men days, men's days on Tuesday, but you have to be priority, or now they call it enhanced. Oh, yes. And I do know my neighbor across the street, he, he's in some golf club with a bunch of guys. I mean, I think some people just organize a bunch of people to golf and then it grows or, mm -hmm. you know, whatever. And there's eight of us every Sunday. That's the neighborhood that golf together. So I think- See, Jan does stuff with her neighborhood. Yeah. <laughs> and and my, my husband always said, we're not going to be tied down to something every week. So anyway, <laughs> um, and a lifestyle, if you're doing a lifestyle, I mean, I think we answered that, um, that quite a, a few times, yeah. uh, but there's tons to do. They'll give you tickets for, to go see a show or to golf, look at the restaurants. Um, if you're just visiting or the RBO or whatever, I mean, it, it just get in the golf cart and. Yeah, I think the, to me, the must things would be the squares because that is unique to the villages. They've got music every night, live, yep. five to nine. Um, so I think that would be unique. I think if you're a music person, I think seeing a show at the Sharon mm -hmm. or at the uh, Savannah. Savannah Center would be a really good thing. I think if you're a golfer, definitely hit one of the golf courses. The championship courses are very nice most times um, right after snowbird season. They're a little bit beat up because of the amount of use they get. But um, the courses in general are, are pretty nice here. Um, and I would say definitely check out some restaurants and things like yep. that because there's a lot of good places to good eat. Good restaurants which around didn't all the squares. No. When we first moved here, it was like there was never anything good. There were no good restaurants. And they had the same. Well, Katie Bell's is the one that we always went to yeah. because it was the Well, that was the, the nicest yeah. and the best. That was the best restaurant. But remember, it used to be like, too, you could always get, you could go get dinner somewhere for $5, but it was probably worth $5. You know what yeah. I mean? It wasn't like it, they didn't have any, no. but now there's nice restaurants, whole, yeah, and a, a lot of choices, which mm -hmm. is nice because there yeah. are some restaurants that other people 
love down here and I they're like oh this is the best I'm like me I don't really care for it but that's just me obviously yeah, so right. um it's nice we have a lot more choices than we used to um Frank Keel asked how about orthopedic joint and replacement surgery doctors and are they local to the villages so um of course we do have any of those doctors available any specialty is here um that said sometimes you can't get in right away um there are people that I know that will go to Ocala even as far as Gainesville or Orlando for some of their specialty care if they can't get into a doctor here or if they don't really care for the doctor's reputation here. So um, there are a lot of places that you can find your specialist. If you have a, um, like if, once you come down here and once you get your, I, I would recommend get your GP first, your general practitioner or whatever you call it, mm -hmm. family doctor, whatever you want to call it. Get that person first, get acquainted. And then once you have a comfort level, then you can kind of ask for recommendations as to who they would suggest because they kind of know each other. And I'm sure that there's this whole underworld thing of don't go there. You know what I mean? Yeah, so right. I would, I mean, I would go to somebody that I really trusted or talk to a friend or someone who has just had it done. You'll find plenty of people that have had their knees done. And Mark just had his done. Um, so you'll find a lot of people that have had things done. So, um, you know, basically. Right. Yeah. And, and a lot of people have that. asked, new people have asked us where we go for dentists, where we go for this. Yeah. And that. But, you know, you're, you're talking about a community that's older, I mean, knees and hips and, you know. And very active. Yeah. You and, know. And so um, Mark went to Dr. Cook. I went with my knees and he went for his meniscus. But he's one of the best in the villages, but hardest to get into. And I know there's a that's lot of good one. doctors. And so, yeah just, uh, yeah, just ask around. That's what I would do, yeah. too. Yeah. So. Um, Frenum Tees. How were the martinis? I will just have to say, stellar. Thumbs up. Debbie makes the best apple teenies. And so you will notice we didn't drink them during the, I mean, they sat there they as a decoration, but yeah. after we were done, then we drank them. Yeah. And, and they, they were yummy. Delicious. They were delicious. So it's a recipe actually we kind of snagged from a West restaurant called Wildfire, if you've ever heard of it. It's a, one of the Let Us Entertain Your restaurants. Really good. Um, so anyway, that kind of wraps up today's questions. And as always, we appreciate all of your questions, your input. Um, we love when you guys put stuff below and we love also hearing everybody else's suggestions. So if you're a resident here and somebody asks a question, we love that you're giving your input. Right. Too. You guys sometimes yeah. have We've learned some stuff, you know, from someone yeah. in their two cents worth in. So, yeah, it's always nice. So, um, we appreciate if you'd like and subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, we hope you watch another.